The current crypto bear market has caused investors panic, fear, and uncertainty. The crisis began when the global market capitalization of cryptocurrency fell below $2 trillion in January 2022. Since then, the value of Bitcoin has dropped by more than 70% from its all-time high of $69,044.77 on November 10, 2021. Similarly, the value of other major cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, and Dogecoin has dropped by approximately 90%. Does history have any insight into when the bear market will end? Thank you for watching Diversified Streams, your go-to YouTube channel for all things crypto and finance. Be sure to check out our community post about these subjects. We are curious to know your opinions on these matters. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest news and tips related to crypto. And make sure to keep your notifications on so you'll be updated with our latest videos. We frequently post so you wouldn't want to miss them. In today's video, we will be talking about the final flush out in crypto and the end of the bear market. We'll be having Gareth Soloway's prediction featured in this video to give us an idea of what's about to come. Like many other experts in the field, Gareth Soloway believes that crypto is still stuck in the bear market, but we are nearing its end. According to him, this is the start of the final flush out in crypto before it bottoms. Let's hear more from him. Yeah, so I, I think it is playing out like like I thought. Um, I did have no idea that FTX was going to be, a, you know, a, the situation that it was. But what you find out is in bear markets, you know, it's essentially the tide goes out or essentially the money stops. It dries up for all of these cryptos. Um, and you see who's wearing a bathing suit when that, that tide goes out, right? So, you know, who's being shady, that's revealed. And then who's being legitimate that survives and they're going to be the ones that thrive in the new bull market. So, so I think that's the key is that this happens. I mean, you could go back to 2008, Lehman Brothers. I mean, Lehman made some very poor bets and it, it fi filed for bankruptcy. It was kind of an earth shattering event back in 08. The markets took about six months from there to bottom. So that kind of gauges me um, where I'm saying, okay, I think with five or six months out from the FTX collapse, you likely reach a bottom in crypto. Now, whether that's 12,000 or 9,000, I'm a little shaky on that, but I do think that's the key. And then if we go back to like the dot-com collapse, interestingly enough, you had Enron uh, and WorldCom, right? And these were two companies that were doing very shady things with their accounting and their books and basically fabricating a lot of stuff, very similar to FTX. And when the bear market came there, they couldn't hide it anymore. And, and really, I mean, heck, you could even go back to Bernie Madoff, right? Bernie Madoff was continually, you know, making his investors think they were just having amazing gains. But when the bear market hit, people started to pull their money out. So he couldn't continue the pyramid scheme, essentially. So, so I think that's kind of where we are. But again, the positive is I think we're five to six months out from a good official bottom in crypto. Yeah, I, I think just, you know, just again, for me, I'm a very history, I'm a history buff. So I, not only just on, on world history, but also on stock and market history and asset history. And you have to look back at at, at Lehman Brothers. And, and in fact, let me show my chart here, because I do think Please. it's worth kind of taking a look at um, what the kind of play out is on the S&P 500. So what I'm going to do quickly is just scroll all the way back to 2008. And what we're going to see is that when Lehman Brothers announced, and we're almost there here, uh, let's see here, there we go, so 2008. So September 15th is when Lehman Brothers occurred. So it basically occurred right here. And, and what we saw- Gareth also mentioned what happened to Bernie Madoff, where they made their investors believe that they are getting serious gains. But they couldn't continue the pyramid scheme when people started to pull their money out when the bear market hit, given the history, on the light note, Gary thinks that we are five to six months out from a good official bottom in crypto. So from what we are getting from Gareth is that there is still a heap of big money that people still wish to invest in Bitcoin, but cannot right now because of its imposed risks. There is still a doubt in investing, let's say around 100 million, because it might vanish tomorrow once we wake up. But once we see the regulation and transparency, we will see the money coming in. While we do not know for sure when this current bear market will end, we can use history to provide some guidance just like Gareth mentioned earlier. He believes that most investors should think about it that way because it's too hard even for him to say the exact bottom for this. Going back in history won't tell us for sure how long this bear market is going to last. 
but I think we got some insight as to how long they usually last. To support this, Morgan Stanley's Mike Wilson, a well-known stock market skeptic who correctly predicted this year's slump, also believes the bear market in U.S. equities may end sooner than investors think. We believe the bear market will end in the first quarter, Wilson said in an interview with Bloomberg Television. This year, inflation reached a four-decade high, fueled by pandemic-era stimulus payments, supply chain disruptions, and geopolitical conflict. In an effort to cool the economy, the Federal Reserve has begun to reduce its balance sheets and has implemented a series of aggressive interest rate hikes. According to the Wall Street Journal, interest rates have been rising at their fastest pace since the 1980s. These concerns have resulted in a sharp drop in the market stock. The S&P 500 entered the bear market in June, and the broad-based index has declined for three consecutive quarters, a first since 2009. Many investors are wondering when the stock market will bottom. The S&P 500 is currently 22% off its all-time high, though it was recently down as much as 25%. Unfortunately, there is no surefire way to predict the end of a bear market. But historical data may contain some hints, similar to what Gareth discussed. How to navigate amidst a bear market? I want to point out that opportunity to switch to inflation-proof or energy stocks is likely gone or dwindling. A quick look at the SP500's YTD performance in 2022 reveals that the energy sector is the winner, with stocks like Occidental Petroleum Corporation up 111%. All other sectors are primarily in the red, with some notable exceptions in healthcare, aerospace and defense, consumer defense, and utilities. Dollar cost averaging, or DCA, into high conviction assets that are cheaply priced is a good strategy to invest in at this bear market stage, also shared by Gareth earlier. This entails purchasing small amounts at regular intervals, such as monthly or weekly. When this is done consistently over time, the investor achieves a reasonable average acquisition price for the selected asset. In my opinion, one more logical approach is to look for signs that may influence a change in the fundamentals driving the bear market. For example, closely monitoring the inflation rate is an excellent place to start. If the inflation falls significantly below the Fed's target of 2%, the Fed may be forced to stop tightening, potentially triggering a new bull market. And one last piece of advice from Gareth Soloway is that let's not get discouraged by the bearish headlines that are coming out. It is all part of the market that is bottoming, and look at the facts that Bitcoin is still a viable investment. And that is it for today's video. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. As always, if you did, please show us some love and support by giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. And make sure to keep your notifications on so you will be updated whenever we post new videos on all things related to crypto. This has been Diversified Streams. Thank you so much for tuning in, and see you in our next video. Thank you.